Boysden Stars to wipe out Glamorgan. Two sides experiencing very different seasons met at Edgbaston. Warwickshire, currently sitting top of Division 2, were looking for home advantage as they hosted a Glamorgan side just one spot off the foot of the table. It was a positive start for Glamorgan, with Oatner Selman helping himself to several early boundaries. Following an impressive display in the One Day Cup, it was youngster Brooks with the breakthrough for Warwickshire. Murphy, LBW and the home side 44 for 1. Brown joined Selman at the crease, but it wasn't long before a right delivery saw him caught by Ambrose and departing with just nine runs from 25 balls. A steady innings from Selman was brought to an end as he was caught by Hayne off the bowling of Patel. Kawaja and Morgan were faced with the task of making it to lunch, which they did without too much fuss. Glamorgan 65 for three with an important afternoon session on the horizon. Kawaja's first championship innings didn't last too long after the break as he was trapped LBW following a Barker delivery and the visitors 69 for four. Acting captain Cook joined Morgan at the crease and the pair were able to build a 50 partnership. Spinner Poisdon was the man to break the pairing as he trapped Cook LBW, the visitors 126 for 5 after 49.1 overs. Morgan was able to forge another promising partnership, this time with Lloyd, the duo adding boundaries heading into T. The hosts had managed to claim two wickets in the afternoon session, but Glamorgan's increase in run rate saw them 171 for 5 at T. It will be a perfect start to the evening session for Warwickshire as Poison Spin once again did the trick with another LBW dismissal, this time Morgan gone and the visiting team 172 for 6. Just two overs later, Poison struck again. This time it was Salter dismissed, caught by Patel for just five from seven balls. Patel then took a wicket of his own as Lloyd failed to deal with his delivery and Ambrose was on hand for the catch. Glamorgan's innings starting to fall apart, 190 for 8. The nightmare evening session continued for Glamorgan, as Smith became the third batsman trapped LBW by Poisden, having scored 22 runs from 22 deliveries. The following ball saw Poisden claim his 5 for, and Glamorgan had somehow lost 5 wickets in a disastrous spell after T. From 171 for 5 to 220 all out in 76.2 overs. It was a nightmare start for Warwickshire too, as Rhodes was removed with the first delivery bowled by Carey. Sibley joined Bell at the crease, but the boundaries were scarce for both. Van der Kuchten was the man to dismiss Sibley, the batsman departing with a disappointing seven runs, Warwickshire 18 for two. Skipper Trot helped Bell make it to stumps without any further loss. The hosts 24 for two, 17 overs into their first innings. Positive day for Glamorgan was ruined by a lower order collapse, but a couple of early wickets keep the match in the balance, heading into day two at Edgebaston. <laughs>